Are you fascinated by magic? Mostly we get fascinated by magic because it brings before the eyes certain fantastic phenomena that are quite unexplainable. In the chemistry laboratory, you can bring about great changes without magic. Some of these are merely physical changes, but many are chemical changes. Every day and everywhere changes may occur. The perspiration that dries from our skin, the sugar that dissolves in a cup of coffee, the salt that crystallizes from seawater, the water that transpires from plant leaves are just a few among so many examples. Automobiles run by burning gasoline. Gasoline is a hydrocarbon. Combustion of hydrocarbons produces carbon dioxide and water, and the energy being released accompanies change. This video lesson explains physical changes in terms of the arrangement and motion of atoms and molecules. Substances undergo changes when their conditions are changed. A change in condition could be a decreased or an increased in temperature. Matter is characterized by their physical and chemical properties. Physical properties pertain to those that are measured without changing the composition of the substance. These include the color, odor, texture, boiling point, density, etc. Chemical properties, on the other hand, can be observed if a chemical reaction has occurred and thus there is a change in the composition of the substance. There are two types of changes, physical and chemical change. When a substance undergoes a change without affecting the chemical composition of matter, then it is considered a physical change. Grinding, breaking, crushing, bending and changes in the state of matter are examples of physical changes or reversible change. This means that by a way or another, matter can be returned back to its original state. Given examples, melting of ice, dissolving of table salt, cutting of papers, melting chocolate, bending, ducting, of metals, and water cycle. Chemical change or irreversible process involves a change in the substance's chemical composition, that is, new substances are produced. This means that the new substance can't be returned back to its original case. Example. Rotting of fruits, burning of sulfur, photosynthesis process, food digestions, and fermentation. Physical change does not lead to a change in the identity of the substance. Many physical changes are reversible, especially those involved in phase change, possible signs of physical change has taken place, change of shape, change of state, solid, liquid, or gas, change in size, change in any other physical property. A chemical change involves a change in shape and its structure of the substance giving a new substance with new properties. Possible sign a chemical change occurred, a change in color, a change in the substance's temperature, light is given off, a gas is produced, a change in taste.